Guys, there's 59.7% of you who are not subscribed to this awesome channel. Come on guys, girls, you wonderful people, hit that subscribe button, it would help me out immensely and I love each and every one of you and leave a like, leave a dislike if you don't like it and a comment. Roll it. Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel please like and subscribe for all future content. Good morning you. We have to have a high gait for this one. Yes we do. Because you started wrecking the place, didn't you? So yeah, we have to get the high gate trim because this little rascal, he started running around the house and just grabbing things and tearing things up. Well, you've seen my uh, little Charlie this morning, so I thought I'd just throw him in there because a lot of you seem to love him. And to be honest with you, he's absolutely amazing. So what we're going to jump into today is something that caught my eye late last night and I was literally like, oh my God, what is happening? And I looked into it and I was like, ooh, right, interesting. So what we're going to take a look at is this. Keemstar is being sued by Romeo Lacoste, seeking $3.5 million in damages. $3.5 million. That is a crazy amount. So, Lacoste alleges that he has lost a mass of individual clients because of Keemstar's allegations against him. Carries on. YouTube tattoo artist Romeo Lacoste is suing Drama Alert host Keemstar in federal court over allegations he made about him on several episodes of Drama Alert. Obviously, Drama Alert is the huge news channel on YouTube. The legal complaint alleges that Keemstar accused Romeo of this in several videos on social media including YouTube videos posted on March the 9th, 16th 2019, March 17th 2019 and February 10th 2020. The complaint specifically references a video recording of Romeo Lacoste engaging in conversations of this type of nature with a minor which was shared by Keemstar in a February 10th 2020 episode of Drama Alert. According to the complaint, the minor falsely told Lacoste that she was a majority status and recorded the conversation without his consent. After the recording had been created, the complaint alleges that the minor sent the recording to Keemstar, who then used it in his efforts to destroy Lacoste's business and reputation. The complaint also accuses Keemstar of using drama alert to push his own agenda and to sway his followers to sharing his opinion. And that adds that Dan Keemstar, so Daniel Keem is a real name, acted with malice and has deliberately caused and intended to cause great economic harm to him. Additionally, the complaint alleges that Keemstar has a demonstrable history for making accusations, notably other accusations of this, which he is unable to substantiate and that he recklessly and maliciously continues to make such accusations. According to the complaint, Romeo has lost a mass of individual clients and contract opportunities, and this loss of business directly correlates to the origination of videos that Keemstar published. Romeo Lacoste is seeking $3.5 million in damages and injunctive relief against Keemstar and his agents, employees, assigns, and representatives, which would prevent them from directly or indirectly making further public statements about his accusations against Romeo Lacoste and this litigation. So with that there, when you actually think about it and when you look into it, a lot of this stuff is like, well, the evidence is there. That's one of the biggest problems. And you got him there saying, no, you know, I'm gonna sue you because of this, because you called me this. Well, this person who is a minor, who is underage said, that you said this to them and they recorded the conversation. So they actually have you stating what that is, what you are really. And again, it's not really an accusation if there's evidence. This is absolutely crazy because when you look around as well, like this is one of the funniest things that uh, has come out so far. So you obviously got, you know, Keemstar the last 
12 or 13 hours or so, he's put out a couple of tweets. You know, the first one was, my attorney will be on drama alert tonight to explain this all to you. You'll never believe what's happening. My team has been encouraged me to start a GoFundMe to help fight this ridiculous $3.5 million lawsuit. I refuse to do this. However, I know many of you want to help me fight this because it's for the benefit of all YouTubers, so agree to make and sell a t-shirt starting tomorrow. That's fair enough. And it's when you look at it and it's like, what the hell are you doing? Is that these people, this guy, he actually went online and said all of this to someone and he said it to a, someone who was underage. Did he really think that person wasn't going to try and send it off to someone? Really? It's just so funny because when you think about it, he admits to doing it. He's admitted to doing that. And, <laughs> oh my God, I literally was like, you've admitted to this. What are you doing? You've admitted to doing it. So how can you say that he's accusing you of something when you act this, you've admitted it. You've admitted, dude, come on. This is literally, you're, this is, ask what you are. When this hard evidence about it and you're like you're saying this about me because i done this to someone it's like dude what the hell's going on in your mind literally but oh my god my sister, it's just crazy if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe hit that notification bell for future updates and i'll see all you wonderful people soon